Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now I was having a conversation with a user today and essentially they want the viewport to track the object. So whenever they move the object, the viewport will basically stay with the object. Now there's several ways we can achieve this. If you've animated in Blender before or you're pretty experienced, you probably know some of these tips. You might not know one or two, but, but anyway. So as usual, if you select the object and you move it, the viewport will stay static. Now this is great when you're animating, but like I said, you might want to follow the object. And there's several ways we can achieve this. If we go to view, then go to align view, we can lock to the active, and this will lock to the active object. So when we move the object, the viewport will move along. So you can zoom right out, for example. And this is quite good if you're maybe doing character animation, you're setting up a face or whatever. You can do this in like quad views. To unlock it, we can go to view, align view, and view lock clear. And that pretty much unlocks it, we're back to normal. Now the easiest way, or the most beneficial way to do it is open up the tab here and go to view and you can see lock to object. And again we can actually just manually select the object and it'll pretty much do the exact same thing. Nice and easy. Now while I'm here actually, uh, a lot of people find moving the camera, or a lot of new users, especially in Blender, find moving the camera quite difficult, so I'll press zero to go into the camera view. And a lot of people, they might use G to grab, they might use R to rotate, stuff like this. But you can actually lock the camera, and when you move the viewport, it acts in the same way, except this time you're inside of the camera, so you can go camera to view. And this way, when we move a viewport, or we use in viewport navigation, our camera pretty much mimics this. It's a nice little tool, it's quite a quick way for moving the camera, uh, so always keep that in mind. Now, while I'm here, I'll show you local versus global view. Uh, we'll just add an, an object to the scene, for example. So a lot of the time, you might be working with loads of assets. So if I tab into edit mode, what I can do is I can press backslash. It's next to the num lock or it's next to the right hand shift key. And that'll put you in a local view. And that means you're actually just concentrating on this asset. Sometimes you'll press it by mistake. And if your scene does this, just keep this in mind. Another quick tip is if I actually go into object mode, you can press the home key and this will basically frame all uh, nice and easy. So any assets that you have in the scene will be framed. Sometimes when you import a model, uh, it might, the scale might be very small or it might be very large and you might get lost. So using the home key or the global view will help you find this asset. Because sometimes you just import an empty and you're like, where the hell is my model? So this will help sometimes. Now, this is the main tip or a tip that... I don't necessarily use a lot in Blender, and I probably should. So, you might know if you press B, you can do a box select. If you press in Shift, then B, you can actually focus in on the object. It's kind of like a frame selection. So, Shift and B, a great little method. Uh, I don't use it as much as I should, but it is a cool tool. Uh, when it comes to viewport navigation, I actually find Blender probably one of the better DCCs. Uh, it generally, just, it just feels a little bit more natural, but hey. Uh, it could just be the fanboy you and me. Now, I actually have a very old video and it shows you how to actually lock these viewports on rotation. It's a script. It's actually part of the API, but for some reason it's not exposed. So this basically brings it back in. So if you ever want to set up something like quad view, you can actually lock these views. And that's a couple of tips, especially if you're new to Blender. Take care. You know what to do.